factors (ACF). It is also known as greatest common divisor. We know that divisor means factor actually. All the factors are actually exact divisor. Already you have learned about common factors in previous classes. The highest common factor of two or more numbers is the greatest or the largest among common factors. ACF can be found out by using at least three ways. Here we use only two methods. First one is simply taking product of factors and next one is by prime factorization. Let us take the example of uh, two numbers 1 and 12. So first we have to find out the factors of 6 and 12 respectively. So factors of 6 uh, should be factor of 6 should be 1. 1 is obviously the factor of every number or we can say exact divisor of every number. So factor means divisor also. 2 times 3 that means 2 and 3 and uh, number itself 6. All those 4 are the factors of 6. Now put here the factors of 12 that is 1 2 times 6 to 3 times 4 so 4 6 here it is 12 those are the factors of 12 so uh, we have the number of factors of both the values here we see one is common that means one is the factor of 6 as well as 12 also Again, 2 is also a common factor for both of them. 3 is also a common factor. Here, 4 is not a common factor since it is not present in 6. Here, 6 also a common factor. So, from that observation, we can write here that factors of uh, 6 and 12, that is common factors. Common factors are, um, that is, 1 the first one is 1 next 2 next 3 and 6 so those are the common factors of 12 and sorry 6 and 12 so out of these common factors we have to find out which one is the largest which one is the highest so hcf means highest common factor so we have to find out the highest one so obviously 6 is the highest or the largest one so hcf should be 6 of 6 and 12 let us take another example mm, suppose we have a pair of numbers that is 14 and 15 15 so we have to find out the uh, common factors of 14 and 15 first we have to uh, put down the factors of 14 that means factors of 14 are 1 2, 2 times 7 that means 2 and here it is uh, 7 because 4, 5, 6 are not the exact divisors of 14 and 14 itself. Next 15 factors of 15 are 1 again here it is uh, not divisible by 2 exactly so 3, 3 times 5 that means 3 and 5 and 15 itself. So, those are the factors of 14 and 15. Now, we have to find out the common values. One is the common and it is a, one is present in both the cases. But rest of the numbers are not common because you see 2 is not present in 15. So, here the common factors we can write. Common factors are actually not are. It should be is only one factor is there. So, is that is 1 there is no other common factors in case of 14 and 15 so hcf should be there is no any question of highest number because it has only one common factor so one is the highest common factor since uh, we know that the, the in that pair it has only one common factor that is one so in that case that pair is called the co prime number so the it is called the co prime number that pair is the co prime number pair so already we have learned about this in our previous classes let us take another example 
uh, with three numbers and here we use the prime factorization method again prime factorization method can be done in two ways one is individually dividing the numbers or continuous division method by taking all the numbers here we have taken 20 28 and 36 three numbers we take the initial uh, individually we uh, divide them and we will find out the prime numbers so lowest smallest prime number is 2 so we divide 20 by 10 again uh, it should be 5 so 5 is a prime number so we, we, we can't go further we can't divide 5 anymore so here all these numbers are prime numbers 2 to 5 so again individually we have to divide 28 by the smallest prime number that is 2 since it is an even number so again 14 again 2 times 7 means 14 so 7 is also a prime number we can't divide 7 anymore so next we have to take 36 again to a smallest prime number 2 20 it is 18 again we have 9 so next it is not divisible by 2 so 3 times 3 that means 9 so here we have uh, those prime numbers if we collect the prime numbers from them individually we we can uh, write them as well like that way factors of 20 means we have to use the multiplication sign here 2 times in case of prime factorization 2 times 2 times 5 we put the multiplication sign here in earlier case we have used just comma those are the product of the factors here it is the prime numbers so factors of 28 are 28 are 2 times 2 times 7 again in case of 36 they are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 so those are the factors of 20 28 and 36 now we have to find out the common factors first and after that we will find out the hcf here is 2 is the common and 2 is present in uh, all uh, all the numbers again that 2 is also present in all the all, all the numbers and 5 and 7 are not common so you can write here common factors are like that way so common factors are here um, here we can say common factors equal to 2 times 2 and if we multiply them then we get the hf that is the highest common factor it should be 4 4 so 4 is the highest common factor in this case and here we have 1 is the highest common factor since those are the prime cofactor here is 6 is the HCF 6 is the divisor of 12 actually exact divisor of 12 so 6 is the smallest number so 6 is the highest common factor that is the process to find out the HCF